Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Woodbury video. Before our regularly scheduled content begins, I wanted to tell you guys about something Molly and I have been working on behind the scenes for quite a while now. We've actually just kind of done a soft launch of it this past Friday over on Instagram, and it is called Woodbrew Guides. Now, I'm gonna play you a little bit of a teaser as soon as I'm done talking here, and then we'll hop right into the regularly scheduled content, but you guys will be hearing a lot more about this, and if you're at all curious, I highly recommend you check the link in the description below where you can get 50% off the bundle right now as we're doing this sort of soft launch. But I'll let my prior past self tell you about what this new product is, and I hope you guys are excited about what this could mean for the future, because we are extremely excited about it, and we genuinely believe this is the future of Woodbrew, and we think it could help so many of you on your next project and kind of getting started in the world of DIY. So again, thank you so much, and if you decide again to purchase it, we, we greatly appreciate it. We would love any feedback you have at all. All right, I'll stop blabbering, I'll play the clip, and then the video will begin. Thanks, guys. Hey guys, I am excited to introduce to you the brand new Wood Brew Guide. This is revolutionary for our business and I believe revolutionary for this industry. After years and years of selling project plans and thousands of successful customers' projects, we have received a lot of feedback. And that feedback has been funneled directly into this brand new product that we just released. Now this is a little bit of a soft launch, so we ask that anyone who uses this product, please give us your genuine feedback so that we can make it better for the future and also release it across of all of our products and incorporate some new products into the system. So what is this system? The Woodbrew guides are unique compared to our prior PDF plans. Now the PDF plans still come with the guide, but the guide allows you to search all of the related content and exclusive content that hasn't been shown before within the guide. Now, I can't guarantee you that there's exclusive content for every piece, but what that exclusive content includes is some frequently asked questions that will help you get through the process. So what makes this guide different from other online courses and what makes it different from the PDFs that we've sold in the past and still continue to sell on our website is they provide a significant amount of more information as well as a direct connection to us, which is something that we haven't been able to offer in the past. So every single piece of content that we have created about these projects is now available in the guide and it's also highly searchable. What this means is that you were able to type in any part of a project that you're looking for and it will instantly serve you that part of a video or that part of a blog post or that part of the plans if that's what you're looking for. It is an incredibly powerful tool that doesn't stop there. You can also ask this app anything you want and it will serve you the best information it can find. Now, if you aren't able to find the information within that search tool, there's also another feature that we're really excited about. And that is the direct messenger part of this guide. Never before have we been able to connect with people so easily that have purchased our guides. And this is something that we're really excited about. If you click on the direct message part of our guide, you're gonna be able to ask us real-time questions within your project using either video or text. And you can also add in files to help further explain what it is that you have going on within your project. This will allow us to be able to get back to people much more efficiently and be able to provide the help that we've always wanted to be able to do, but it's just way too much to handle with the old system. So if you are interested at all in purchasing a set of our DIY plans, we think this guide is the next level up and think that you will really enjoy it. And please do give us any feedback you have if you decide to purchase these and we greatly appreciate your business. So have fun checking out the new Woodbrew guide and we hope you enjoy it. Today is a very exciting day. gravel just got delivered we're getting 
our weed fabric. Is that what it's called? Uh, landscaping fabric. Landscaping fabric all laid out. The wind keeps blowing it. So I guess we'll have to do this fast, but the gravel will help keep it all in place, right? Okay. recording this on my phone really fast because uh houston we have a problem we have a thousand plus dollars worth of gravel laid down and it won't stop raining it's just let up enough for me to come outside the backyard is literally a disaster things are just getting sort of washed away and uh we have nothing but more storms predicted for next week so we're about to, to figure something out to fix this before literally thousands of dollars worth of work just gets washed away out of the backyard. So after that like week long rainstorm, we saw that we have a little bit of a water issue, especially on the driveway, we're gonna have to end up putting a culvert in. But also back here, it's not really a major issue, but we're trying to, I don't know, get ahead just in case it's worse during say like a week long hurricane or something. But basically what happens is, and this also is being magnified because we have no grass in the backyard right now. But basically all the water is running off this back field and running down basically straight through here. And it keeps this whole area over here kind of soggy. It's not affecting the house or anything. But we're trying to just get ahead of that since we're already digging these trenches for gravel around the house. We're going to go ahead and put a French drain in. Now that French drain is going to be expanded and, ex and extended in the future, but for right now we're going to put it in the section where we currently have a hole dug, which is right here by the fence. So basically what we're going to do is we dug this hole about 12 to 16, 16 inches deep, which is quite a bit deeper than we were going to dig it, but we're already digging it, so we might as well do it. And basically we're going to lay a piece of fabric in here, then we're going to put a little bit of gravel in the bottom of the fabric and we're going to lay a perforated drain pipe now eventually we want this to go further that way basically all the way to the end of the yard so that will happen in the future and then eventually it's going to go all the way down and go into our drainage ravine that goes out to the culverts within the streets so we're going to end up going quite a long ways but uh that perforated drain pipe lays on top of the gravel then a little bit more gravel then fold the fabric over it and then fill in the rest with either dirt or gravel but we're we're going to use gravel so that's the basics of a french drain they're really pretty cheap and inexpensive we have got 150 feet of drain pipe and all the stuff that we needed to do it from home depot for around 200 bucks and then plus some gravel so uh we're gonna go ahead and get started on this it's about to rain again for another couple days so we're trying to get this whole patio area kind of locked in place so we don't have to worry about it during this rainstorm.
short work day outside for us. It was so hot, so we were just trying to work and get out of the heat. So that's why we didn't film as much, but it's raining today, as we all knew. Um, so I'm gonna show you what the French drain is looking like. I'm gonna kind of creep around the uh, garage here, but here's where the French drain is laid. We got all the gravel on top of it. And then here's where everything has been running out. And it's going all the way down here. And Dylan dug a trench um, all the way across the yard this morning so you can see the water is running down it, which is excellent. I'm gonna try to keep out of the rain here, but we got all the gravel laid out in this area here. We're keeping this space um, not filled with gravel yet because we have to paint the house. And then once the house gets painted, then we'll push the gravel up against it. But yeah, all the gravel's like this. We got those pavers that I showed yesterday. I'm gonna hop out here real quick. Oh crap. We got these nice white pavers from Home Depot. Of course, the mud got on them, but it's okay because grass will be up to here. But I love the pavers. We were going to. We were gonna be using landscaping timbers um, or the black landscaping trim that kind of goes around flower beds, but we weren't too fond of either option. And then we went and looked at Home Depot and we saw these pavers, or whatever they're called, pavers, landscaping, bricks, I don't know. I'll link them down below, but, and we fell in love with these in the white, so they'll match the rock as well. So, so glad we went with that. So yeah. So it's been raining all day today. Like there has been no break at all, other than this morning before it started at all. So Dylan is at the coffee shop doing computer work and I've been doing computer work here. Um, I've been editing the fence video, so we'll get a whole fence video in the next few days if it's not our up if it's not up already. I'm just waiting for the rain to stop so I can get final shots and photos because that's important to finish out the video. And then a quick little update: my wedding dress has been in the alteration shop, and I just got a message from the lady today that it is done, and I get to pick it up. So that is a little wedding update where we're at now we leave in less than a month for our elopement which is crazy so it is already all, literally almost five o'clock already so our work day is just kind of at home inside not outside and then tomorrow if it's not raining i guess we'll be outside finishing up this little backyard area of the fence and the gravel and finishing out the French drain as well. Why is it always so bright when the clouds are out? Of course, it rained and rained really bad all day today, so we didn't get anything done, but I'm gonna have to leave this vlog off here. Um, it's actually Thursday, but tomorrow, I'm leaving for my bachelorette trip, so we're not going to be vlogging for the weekend. Dylan might be, but that'll be for next week's vlog. To finish out with the French drain thing, it actually worked out really well. All the water was running out through the trench. We just need to finish it next week so it goes all the way to um, that retaining area in the front yard. I think that's what it's called. So that's on the agenda for next week as well as the planter beds finally um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and like and subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you later.